Hi, I'm going to show you today how to make an animated plot in MATLAB. I was struggling with this myself two years ago when I was preparing for the presentation of my thesis. I wanted to visualize a moving drone. I had GPS coordinates, I had GPS coordinates of this drone flying around in a 2D plane, but I did not know how to plot this and show this in a very nice way. So yeah, I'm going to show you a very, in a very simple way using a sign function. And at first I'm going to plot a point and then I'll plot a line showing you how to use a for loop to visualize, to visualize a plot. So let's start. I have a very simple script here, only having CLC and close all. Close all closes all the plots that we have. CLC clears the command window. So that's what I always have as a default on top of the, uh, the files that I have. And we want to plot a sign function. But let me just see if I can plot it very simple. So uh, let's start it from zero with an increment of 0 0.1 to 2 times pi. So around the circle. And the function will be simple, right? Still uh, easy to follow. If you run this, I have put a semicolon here to, to not show all the t's. But uh, we want to show the y for now. Not too crazy, 63 outputs that we get there. And uh, let me just plot this. So the y is 0 at t is 0, t is pi, and t is 2 times pi. But we want to make this an animation. So I'm going to remove this for now. And we're going to have this function ready. Save. Don't forget to save once in a while. So to animate this, we're going to start with a for loop. The for loop will access all the elements that we just uh, created in this uh, using the sign function. Let me just type it out now and let me explain why I'm using a for loop. So we're going to start with, um, let's just call it k. So we're going to access all the values. k, uh, this is how you do it again. I forgot exactly how you do it. But we go from the first element to the last element that we have. We defined all these elements. So this number, like the length of this is, is 63. So let's just do length of t. And enter and end. That's how you do a for loop in uh, MATLAB. So let's just print. Let me just uh, display all the case that I just made and see what the, the command will show. All right, that was rest. But um, it just shows from 1 to 63. So why am I using this for loop? It's because I want to access k when k is the first element. The first element is actually 0 because we defined it to t to go from 0 to 1. So the first element is 0. The last element, so the 63rd element, will be 2 times pi. So let's see how we can plot this. So we have 63 elements. We already defined k as the number. So we're going to use k as an index. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to plot all the separate points. And we're going to do it in a loop such that it will show it as an animation. So let's just see, like just now we had t and then y, right? But now we're going to access the element by using the index k and also k. Animation will be a point, but uh, I want to I want to visualize better so you can sh see it. So I'm just going to use x here. This is how you define like what the what the marker will look like. And I'm going to plot and then pause it. For 0 0.1, I think this is, is this called 0 0.1 seconds? This is the frequency at how often you should pause this and then go to the next level. Let's see if this works and I'll explain that later. Run. Oh, it's flying away, but we don't know exactly what it's doing. But let me see if it will end at 2 times pi. Yes, it's ending at 2 times pi and then it's ending at the uh, y for y is 0. So this is actually a good. A good animation, but 
don't we want to see the line like you know we want to see where it is actually going we wanted to find we want to fix the axis so i'm going to use axis going from uh this is like if you define the axis always going from so x start x end and y start y end so I want to start at zero because our t starts at zero. That's our that's our x right there, and the maximum value will be two times pi. Here we can define it. Uh, doesn't really matter. Let's just do minus two and two. Let's see if this will work. Oh, that looks cute. So I just noticed something. Um, even though I said. It ends at 2 times pi and it should end at 0. It does not. You see that the little uh, cross here is not at uh, the 0 line. And why is that? It's because I was using an increment of 0 0.1. So even though I said that the last value should be 2 times pi, let's see what the last value of t is. Well, the last value of t should be 2 times pi, right? Because we define it like that. But if we go x is the 63rd element, of t it shows 6.2 because if i just print out t it just goes to till 2 because uh I'm, the increment did not allow me to go to 2 times pi so but that's just minor though not very uh, disturbing so what we did just now is that we plotted uh the points of the graph and we show it at every instance so you would see a moving point uh on on the sine on the sine wave but what we want is actually the whole line. But how can we use that uh, in this for loop? So what we're going to do right now is we're going to plot the first element up until where the for loop is at. So if for, for example, if we're going to start k is, is 1, then we just plot k is 1. But if we're at the in the middle and we at like for example the 30 first element, we're going to plot from the first element till 31st element. So how we're going to do that, it's not that hard. We're just going to change the plot function right here by uh, not just using k, but we're going to use the first value and then also here. How about this? No, we're going to keep this function because this is a nice function. This just shows the, 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 the x, the marker. So this is actually just a one point plot. But we're going to make another plot that shows the line. I'm going to do hold on, because if you want two plots in one graph, then just do it like that. And then we're going to copy this one from one. Oh yeah, so from one to k, and from one to k. Don't think I need to show this. Let me see if this works. Oh yeah, so it plots a lot of colors and all the markers from before. And why did that change? Is because we're using the hold on function. So it actually plots the um, the marker, the x, and then it plots the line. Yeah, and it will keep all the markers on the graph uh, because we're not clearing the the frame. So I'm gonna add two more lines. I think uh, two. I think three more lines actually to clear out the frame so we don't see all the x's, but we do want to keep the line. And let me just add the function to clear the frame at, uh, after, after it's done plotting. So clf is the command for clearing the frame, and we're going to do that every for every k, so at every instance of the loop, uh, until the last one, because the last one we do want to keep uh, the, yeah, the, the stuff that we plotted, because um, this, one, this one we want to see the results. So we're going to do clf uh, only for k when k is not equal to the length of t. So uh, if k is not length of t, then clf. Okay, uh, we can test this for now and see uh, if the, the x's will appear. Oh yeah, all the x's are gone. Let's see at the end if that works. Yep, 
it kept its uh, plot. So uh, the y value is actually going from minus 1 to 1, so I'm going to change that in the axis. Um, just to make the graph more clear, I want to add a grid. And also I'm going to add labels and a legend to make the, the whole graph complete. So it's easy for um, if you want to put it in a report, in a presentation. So let me just, uh, okay, let me just change the axis. So going from minus 1 to 1. Uh, using the grid is very easy. Grid on, and if you want to add a label to the horizontal axis and the vertical, you just do it like this. Next label. Uh, our y value is actually t, and I mean our x x value is actually t, and our y value is y. Now you can make a fancy, you can even add a unit if you want to. But, um, yep, and the legend. So, we're plotting the point first, and then we're plotting this line. So, the first one, you can just say like a cosine of t, marker, whatever you want actually, and then the cosine is t. This is the right word, that's actually the, the line. Okay. Uh, that looks good. So T, Y, grid on, and the X is the marker, and the red line is uh, sometimes T. Could make. So that's it. We actually have a part. We could even add the cosine. Should we just add? Yeah, let's just add the cosine function to this part, um, since we already have this really not hard. I'm just going to change some stuff here. I'm going to call this y2. y2 is cosine of t. Cosine t. And here, let's just put all the, uh, I'm going to add more comments here. Put um, all the marker plots here. And then put all the line plots. Here and then all the other stuff is just uh, uh, graph properties. I have no idea if I should call it like that, but who cares? As long as we just divide everything. And so mark plots, we're just going to plot all in one plot, all under all just uh, t. We're using the same t, but we have a y2 now. Okay. Let's use a different symbol. Let's use um oh. Let's just see if we need to change our color, but we'll see about that. Hold on. We're gonna plot the lines. Or two, or two from one to k. This is so easy. It's just for using a for loop we can make this cool animation. Uh, let me just hold on here. I forgot it came here. This might show up as the same line, uh, same color, but oh, oh yeah, here. Yep. And this is still the same, but for the legend, we're gonna add two more. So, oh wait, did I do it wrong? Yeah, this should be sign. Oh my god, my bad. Sign T, sign T. Actually, we would have a sign and then cross t marker. Then we have sign t. Now we have this. Yes, that is good. Yeah. Oh, that is beautiful. And the legends are uh, correct. play with this uh, 2 times pi here. We You can make this longer. Let's just do a 6 times pi or something and uh, make sure at the axis to change it or else you won't see it. 6 times pi. You can play around with the graph properties. Also, you can make the lines thicker, you can give it a different color. 
um, I could provide the links for that. That's not really interesting. It's only, only going to make this video longer. Yeah, that was it. That's all we need for a nice animation. Thank you so much for watching this and I hope you can follow everything I'm saying. It's a little bit wild when I'm just coding on the spot. Just uh, send me a message or leave a comment if you uh, want to know more about this. Thanks for watching!